I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. So it goes down today, man. UFC 92, Al Jermaine Sterling versus Sugar Shane O'Malley, right? He called himself Sugar Shane. He better bring that hand work, that footwork, and that, you know, hand speed. But who's going to win the fight? <laughs> it could go either way. But guess what? I got my opinion on it. <laughs> so let's get it. Now you talk about who do I feel will win the fight? You ask me. <laughs> How I feel, my opinion? Well, I think Al Jermaine Sterling <laughs> has the potential. Now I take that back. Now I take that back. I think Al Jermaine Sterling is going to drag Maul Sugar Shane O'Malley all night, all night. It could go all five or it could go three. You understand? I don't see it being an early one round, second round. <laughs> I'm putting it three to five. <laughs> Possible submission, TKO. But I think Al Jermaine Sterling is on a different level as far as wrestling. And if he comes in there and his game plan is to take O'Malley down, <laughs> perfect game plan. Tire him out. Take away his strengths, right? Heavy. If he's on the ground on his back, he can't throw them hands. Can't throw them things, bro. So if Al Jermaine Sterling is sharp, if he don't come in trying to look pretty, trying to please the crowd or get the clout, get a viral moment and do too much, be over aggressive, right? <laughs> he can make it an easy night. Maul, maul, maul him, bro. Make it dirty. That's as far as, you know, wrestling goes. That's his expertise. But if he comes in trying to box and jab and bob and weave and shit with O'Malley, he gonna tap his chin, clip his chin heavy. But a bop, you understand? That's just what it is. But I think Al Jermaine Sterling will win the fight and will win it easy. But guess what? If Al Jermaine Sterling slips, dips, <laughs> isn't on his A game, Sean O'Malley, hey, you can't count him out. That boy got power along with speed. You cannot question his striking. Now, both of these fighters, in my opinion, lost their last fights. Heavy. Like it or not, debate about it. Let me know. Fire them comments up. I feel like both of these fighters lost to their last opponents, dog. Heavy. Period. Bottom line. Go check out the fight. I think both was a robbery. <laughs> Let me not say robbery. Well, no, no. The O'Malley one, <laughs> that was a robbery. The Russian ate him up heavy. Right now, let me think of his name. But right now, I'm going to call him the Russian. He's a bad motherfucker. Heavy. Shout out him right? He won that fight. He beat O'Malley fair and square. That was a robbery. Uh, the Algermain Sterling, Henry Cejudo, bad call, bad decision. I feel like the fifth round separated the fight. I feel like the fifth round separated the fight. Clearly gave it to Henry Cejudo, but the judges say Sterling won. Now, was it politics, whatever? They're trying to push Sterling like they're trying to push O'Malley and, and peep the game like be aware of the social media fighters as well. Just look good on social media. They built themselves up on social media, but in that ring, they're really soft, frail, etc. No heart, you understand? <laughs> it's different levels. So O'Malley could be just that. He's big on social media, correct? Kind of built himself up. Has he? Pr I mean, who has he beat? Like, really beat, really dominated, and look good doing it. Heavy. Peter Yan, Peter Yan, that's his name. He beat O'Malley. You understand? So come on, bro. Let's not act like O'Malley is some, you know, uh, just been running through everybody, beating the best, fighting the best. No, man. But if he comes in, boxes, stays off the mat, jabs him all night, work him out, uses hands, feet, kicks, etc. Oh, he'll win the fight. Like I say, he could go either way. But in my opinion, Sterling will win. But O'Malley definitely has a chance, bro. Anytime you're in a fight, you got a chance. But realistically... Al Jermaine should wrestle him all night, but if he doesn't and he goes the stand-up route or he can't take him to the ground, hey, Sugar Shane O'Malley could get the victory, man. He has the speed once again. He has the skills. He's good on his feet up top. So we'll see what happens, man. <laughs> be a true battle of attrition. Who wants it, dog? Who want to be the king of the throne? <laughs> Heavy. Who want to be the champion? Will Al Jermaine keep his belt or will O'Malley take that thing like that there, man? This is why you got to love the UFC. It seems like every pay-per-view, every pay-per-view, the best fighting the best, right? The mandatories are fighting the mandatories, period. Now, boxing is bringing that back, but for a long time, many years, right? Up until recently, kind of, boxing has not been matching up the best versus the best. Too much politics, racism, whatever you want to call it. Now, UFC, some questions here and there, you understand? 
especially about Sean Tricklin getting a title shot. <laughs> He's another guy hyped up on social media. You understand? Got a video coming about him later. Heavy. Tune in. <laughs> But yeah, man, UFC, they put the best versus the best. The fans love it. You got to love it. So let's get to it, man. <laughs> but who will win? Who do you got? Let me know. Fire them comments up. Feedback is much appreciated. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can know when I'm on and rock and roll. And you hear me? Why not? <laughs> Takes less than one second. Heavy. Support the channel for real. Warrior head. Babylon. Stay aware. Woo! <laughs>